What's up guys, Roper here for KJB Cast, bringing you your next Minecraft tutorial. In previous tutorials we took a look at how to make a bridge, a hidden bridge. Oops. And we took a look at starting how to make this castle here. Um, we're going to work on some gates and nice stuff later on over here and make a nice courtyard and just stuff like that. But for now, I have this nice little doorway and I have the working lights of course that we worked on in a previous tutorial as well, which I am now destroying. There we go. Out here and out here I have nothing decided for yet, so if you guys have any suggestions at all of something that I can do some research on and try and teach you guys how to do anything you want to learn, seriously anything at all, just, just let me know, as long as it's Minecraft related of course. Um, and I'll do my best to get it done for you. I'm trying to record these as much as I can right now, uh, while we're in the Christmas season and the workload isn't so hard. I'll get as many done as possible, and then we'll move it up to once a week, so hopefully this will become a permanent thing. So today we're going to take a look at making this nice room here into a library um, with some cool features. Going to have a working fireplace, a nice little, a nice little bookshelves, uh, some seats to sit on. You know, just little decorations, pictures, stuff like that. And in this wall, we're going to make ourselves a nice little hidden door. So you don't need to make your gap this big if you don't want to. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just make it nice and big so that you can see see how it works and see what's happening and just general stuff. Um, now normally you would start here because this is going to be your wall but because we're building bookshelves today we're going to start here. So place four pistons just like this. Uh, they have to be sticky pistons and just set them up uh, like a square and then on the furthest two away from you from here uh, just put two more facing towards towards you outwards and uh, then just throw if you're doing the secret bookcase throw two bookcases in if you're doing just a normal hidden door or something which is fine too uh, just throw whatever material you're going to be using just in there now um, I guess you need to get rid of, of some blocks at the back here because we're going to need to put one at the bottom and one at the top like that just I gotta get rid of this too just like so. And on the top of this one, just throw some redstone. And on the top of the second one, throw a redstone torch at the bottom. Now, we're going to make four little holes here. Uh, just like so. I'll fly above quickly just to give you a look. Just to make it as, as easy as possible for you to see. Um, on the first hole, we'll throw some redstone. And then just throw a block on top of that. In the second hole, we're going to throw a uh, repeater and put it on full and I'm going to put a block on top of that too and this is going to be the first half of your walkway and in this gap here we're going to throw a little bit of redstone also going to throw a block on top of that oops sorry and then we're going to throw a repeater here that's going to be for your lever I'll show you that in a minute. And then the last one, you stick a torch just beside. It has to be on the side here to see the way this is slanted. I don't know if I can show you that. Look it down a little bit. This is stuck to the side of the of the repeater here. And um, I have no grass here for the moment. So. And then you throw a block on top of that. And then you throw some redstone dust on top of that block. Now. Um, Let's just work on filling it out a little bit, making it a little bit more like so. Then this should have just popped out, uh, which is a good sign. This means that it's all connected now. Uh, I'm not going to fill everything in. I'll probably do that later uh, when I'm not in the video so it doesn't waste so much time. Now, uh, it should just look a little bit like this. And then you flick the switch and the door is open. Bada bing, bada boom. And you flick the switch, and the door is closed. Now I know it doesn't look like much right now because the books are sticking out and it looks a little bit silly, but we'll get to that now in a few seconds. So let's just fill this back in. Don't worry so much about the fact that this is visible. That's not so important right now because we're going to be filling everything in in this room. Now, some things I've learned about the bookcases after doing a little bit of research is that they look really good. If you throw some wood in on the sides... It just makes it look a little bit more like a shelf, a little bit more classy. Just a nice little 
feature. So just fill in your bookcases. And as you can see, this is starting to cover up the, the hidden door as well. Now, alongside this video, I'm going to release another video on how to how to make an inverter. Uh, this is going to be very important for future tutorials, as we need to... If you're going to set up a, a hidden door, for example, where you're going to need two, two levers to get through, or if you're going to, to close the door behind you, or when we're working on the bridge to make two of these, you'll always need to make an inverter. So, the best way to do it... Oh, I made a mistake here. This is supposed to be the ceiling. That's my mistake. I apologize for that. Um, you're going to need to know how to make an inverter. So, I will do it after this video. I'll record quickly how to make an inverter. Just so you can hook up two different switches. And, uh... Yeah, it should just be straightforward after that, hopefully. So... If we were to flick the switch, the door would open, and you could get through. Nice little hidden door. You can here. You can keep your. If you're on a server, you can keep some nice things in here. If you're, if you just wanna build a hidden door for the sake of building a hidden door, of course you can do that too. So um, on the other side, I'm gonna build the same idea. Oops, sorry for that. Except this time I'm going to do some uh, set up some space for enchanting. In the next coming weeks or so, we're going to put together a little enchanting tutorial as well, so that people can see the do's and don'ts of enchanting and, and get the general idea. Because some, there's a lot of people out there having some confusion, um, just on generally how to do it and how to how to get it to work and what's the perks of doing it and stuff. And it's it's worth it's worth checking out. So. Uh, we'll get on that in the next couple of weeks. But for now, I'm going to put in some stuff. Uh, let's get an enchantment table going. What else do we need? We need a cauldron. Um, what else we got? Brewing stand. Um, I like to put an anvil in, but you really don't need to. I just I think it looks nice with the with the whole collection of stuff. That's really up to you. So. The reason you want to put this kind of thing in here is simply because uh, over the over the enchantment table when you've got uh, books and stuff, it makes it more powerful. Um, so the more books you have in the area, the better it is. But this looks kind of dumb to me, so I always just leave one extra space. It's the same as when you put chests and walls and stuff. It just looks nicer if you've got the space over it. It's a little bit clearer. Plus, I think chests you can't open if there's if there's anything above them. So, um, yeah, there's a nice little just library design, and if you want to make it more appealing, you can put, I don't know, let's say, to even remind you where the secret door is, you could probably just do this. Just put some, oops, sorry, just put some books in the middle and just make it look more library-esque. You can probably hide your switch in this wall or, or one of these bookcases and just make it look a little bit better. Um, another cool feature is the fireplace. Uh, so if you get some brick, I'll get rid of the wood for a second. Um, need some nether rock. Cause that stuff burns forever, if you didn't know that. that that's the only material on the game that does not stop burning. And you need some, f you need a flint and steel. So when it comes to this, if you're building this in a wooden house or an area that's got a lot of wood in it, you need to be really careful because this stuff is just, it'll burn your house down in two seconds. So uh, basically what I do is I like to set up some brick just surrounding the area that I'm going to um, be building in. It just looks nicer then. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is put this down one more. Because I'm going to put some netherrack down here. Now, if you like the netherrack, it's a nice fire. It's it's not so tall, so if you want to if you want to put an up one, you can do that too. There you go. So 
I'll just build the chimney around it quickly. Now you've got yourself a nice little fire and you know, just clear up the weather. It makes so much noise when it's raining. And then I like to put in just a nice little stack because it looks like a chimney stack then. So when you've got the ceiling in it looks like the smoke is going up the chimney and just it's a nice little a nice little thing. You can put uh you can put out a mantelpiece if you want, put some decorations on, on the sides, you can put flower pots or, or pictures up here, look really nice too. There's loads of different things you can do. Um, just for style's sake, but what I what I like to do is I like to take stairs. So just oak wood stairs is fine. Any any type of stairs is fine. If you get a sign. What I like to do is just put up a little maybe a, a seat here. You can put up a couch or a three-seater or whatever you want. Oops, sorry. Or whatever you want. And then if you put some signs on the sides, you got yourself a nice little chair. So it's uh, just some nice little tips for decorating your house. Obviously this doesn't look so neat. I'll probably, probably get rid of this actually. It's just some general ideas to, if you've got a bigger room especially, to just add more bookcases and make it look a little bit more more realistic. But that's that's really up to you. So yeah, I'm going to fill this in and then I'll throw a little video on the end of this which I'm also going to release by itself on how to make an inverter with uh, with two switches. Um, realistically you'll want to build something like that underground but because uh, in the Minecraft when you do a super flat world you don't have so much underground, There's, you just disappear into nothing so I should probably fill it back in, warm myself it's there. So for now, um, yeah, I think this is really it. If if you have any questions or anything, just let me know. Um, if you want to make it look, I suppose if you want to make it look nice, you can get some. There's different colored walls. If you if you're doing this on survival mode, you need some. You need to get some dye and stuff. I can I can post a tutorial on, on dyes later. Um, I suppose if you take red wool, it might look it might look nice to just have a little bit of a carpet. Oops, let me do that. Just have a little bit of a, a nice decoration. Just be careful because wool, like most things in this game, is highly flammable. Um, so unless you're dealing with stone or something, you need to just be a little bit careful when you're going up to the fire. I, I would, I'm pretty sure you can probably put it here, but I, I really wouldn't just in case. Uh, if one goes on fire, they all go on fire, and then it's it's chaos. Um, I don't know. Maybe if you just want to put some flower pots down, these are these are really cool features. I'm not sure if they've hit the Xbox version yet, but I know they've hit hit the PC, obviously, because I'm, I'm using them right now. Uh, I like the cactus. To be honest, it's a nice little. It looks really cool when you when you put it in the flower pot, but you can use whatever you want. There you go. Just some some decor. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put some lighting in in the ceilings, um, just like I did last time. Uh, same deal as this. I might lower the bookcases just to to fit the lighting in. I just I made it a little bit too tall. But uh, yeah, and then you've got your secret room. And in here you can put really whatever you want. I mean, I'm gonna have to see how it goes uh, before I decorate it, but I'll make sure to check it out again in the next video when it's finished. Uh, obviously, with the inverter and stuff, it's gonna take up even more space. So the odds are the inverter is probably gonna go in here, which really means that you only have this amount of space left. So obviously, plan ahead when you're building, when you're building these hidden rooms and stuff. But generally, my hidden rooms are quite small because I'm only putting my valuables in there, my my essentials in there, so that uh, so they don't get found out. I like to build in inside mountains and stuff if I'm on a server and then use this hidden door technique right here and put it inside a mountain and then what I would normally do is maybe I don't know like over here or something I would put put my switch inside this block so that when I take it down I can flick the switch put a piece of dirt back in and then uh, go inside flick the switch close the door and everything looks just like a mountain on the outside and on the inside I have a, I have a general base I can upload a little, I've done this on a server before, so I can actually upload a little demo of that if, if you guys want as well. So, um, yeah, that's really it. This this will be the library, the little, the seating area. 
with a one seat, you know, forever alone and shit. So yeah. All right, guys. Uh, if you've got any questions or any advice, even if you if you know how to make this library even better, let me know, and maybe we can add it in. Of course, I'm willing to incorporate anything. I'm willing to make this castle as as nice as possible, and it's it's not just going to be made by me. It's going to be made by you guys. So, obviously, the more work we put in, the better it is. If you want to put in, I don't know, if you want to put in windows or something, it's maybe that's nice too. I'm never really keen on glass windows, but it's it always looks so so blocky from the outside. Then if you don't. Uh, for obvious reasons and stuff, but plus I want to see my cool statue of Mega Man that I made for his 25th year birthday. Here he is. I can uh, I'll put a link here for that if you want to see that too. That's that was pretty fun. I didn't do a tutorial on how to make it. I just did it for his 25 year anniversary, which is absolutely insane. Um, yeah, so it was a nice little symmetrical fireplace and hidden doors and all sorts of crazy stuff so yeah I'll throw the inverter in at the end so you can see how switches work and stuff like that and yeah so take care guys what's up guys Roper here bringing you another minecraft tutorial this is just a quick one, this is just to do inverters. I promised in the last video that I'd show you guys how to do inverters and that allows you to basically uh, activate two switches for the same setup. So I'll show you a quick example of this is on the bridge that we did in episode two. So you want to activate this. So basically you're on, let me turn this off, you're on one side, you want to activate this. Run across, turn it off, and it works. And the only way to do this is really, that, well, that I know of, is with an inverter. So, uh, in the last episode, we had set up a hidden door here, and I want to set up an inverter for it. So, what it is, I built downwards because inverters are space eaters. They just take up so much space as far as I'm concerned. So, I built downwards, and I built back, what have we got here, one, two, three, four, five, we, I've built back six, but uh, you, can, you can pretty much build back whatever you want. The space, however, needs to be more than five. What you really want is probably a space of seven. I have a space of nine here just to be extra sure, but I think the minimum you can use is seven so the wires don't really get crossed. All right, so you need to set up three blocks. Uh, so set up one, two, and three. So block, space, block, space, block. And obviously the, space, the block in the middle is two back. So uh, what you want to do is you want to set up uh, redstone on each of the blocks on the front, and you're going to want to... Uh, put just a redstone link right between the two. Now, these should have switched off just like they did now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these two, and they're going to be my connections for uh, for the for the levers. This is going to be my left lever, and this is going to be my right lever. So this has to be connected to something, and that something is up here. So uh, what I need is I need to disconnect these, and I need to lead this down. So. Let's hope this reaches quickly. I just did it in the me. Yeah, the reaches. So the door is open because there's a signal. Uh, I'm gonna set up my first switch, probably, probably here. So I'll do that because the switch, switch on the inside isn't supposed to be so hidden. I think it's it's not so important. Uh, it can just be wherever, and then you can flick the switch. The door will shut, and the point gets across. Maybe it's a little bit far away. Actually, I might. Yeah, I'll move, I'll move it here. I'll put the switch here. So, if you are like me and you're a real stickler for making sure that the signal actually gets there, um, you're going to need to put uh, from the lever, which I'm now moving over, from the lever, you're going to need to put redstone facing this, so, or a redstone repeater, my mistake, facing this just to make sure the signal is strong enough. Um, I know that the signal can go 14, but you know I just I'm always so nervous about it, and I don't want to dig everything back up if, if something goes wrong. So uh, I always just throw a, a repeater in to make sure it works. Now on the other side, we're going to need to do the same thing, but obviously because we've got redstone here, we don't want to create a loop. So it's a little bit trickier when it comes to to bringing it back up. Uh, the best thing that I know for it really is to get it 
away from uh, from this. So what we're going to want to put it is probably right here, which is in in the wooden part of of the of this. We're going to probably want to put the switch. I don't know. It depends. You can put the switch here if you want it in plain sight, or you can put it so the redstone leads to the bookcase. And if you stick a switch on yourself, can you stick a switch on a bookshelf? Bookcase? You can. And if you stick a, a switch on yourself as you're going, you can flick it open, take the switch off, run in, and the door closes. That works too. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a hidden switch in here because that's just that's my favorite thing to do. So what I want is to make sure that no other signal is going to get in. Uh, so I'm going to take away this wall for a second. It's a little bit tricky when you're when you're building to uh, to be able to build it with enough distance. But I did mention this in the last video that we might need to take this wall back just by one. And this is really why because I'm always bad at judging how how much space I'm going to need for the signal. So let's, I just need to get some stone again. Uh, what did I have? I had decorative stone, but not the monster egg. So let's just throw this here, and I'm going to have the switch sitting there. So I'm going to need my redstone to finish up here, uh, which makes it a little bit tricky uh, when it comes to building. But, you know, it'll have to do. All right, so let's lead our, our redstone up. And as I said, I like to throw in just a repeater just to be sure. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Oh, down the rain. Uh, so I will throw my block in here. And on the other side, I'm going to throw my... Thankfully, I didn't put a ceiling on yet. On the other side, I will throw my, uh, my lever. Now, if you want, you can move this all back one um, and put a brick here and leave the redstone to this brick. I don't mind if it sits here, uh, but I can I can show you what I mean. Obviously, I'm going to have to move the wall back anyway, so it doesn't matter if I move it back, just add one extra. Um, I'll just throw a block in quickly and throw my redstone on that. I just have to basically just have to raise everything up one more just to show you what I'm talking about. It's just more helpful than uh, explaining it. I can just sh when I can show you visually. And I'll throw that one block up. You can put one on top. I, I think I don't think it matters as long as it reaches it. I don't, I don't think it actually matters. And then what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll put it up here. Now uh, we need the wood, which was oak, I believe. So basically, you just need to make sure you have some wood, that's all, uh, some oak wood. And uh, I'll fix the hole later. So basically, you come in, you take it out, you flick the switch, you know, doors close. So you come in, you flick the switch, doors open. On the other side, you flick the switch, doors closed. And uh, that's really it. Nice and effective uh, hidden switch. Well, not so hidden right now, but a hidden switch. Obviously, this wood panel is going to change into a bookcase uh, when I'm moving because I'm going to expand everything back those few extra, what is it, four extra places or something, just so the wall covers it and everything's there, which means that this room is actually going to be a little bit bigger. Also, I should explain that uh, when we're expanding the whole castle and the castle is actually finished, so that we're not, there's no more add-ons or buildings or whatever, I'm going to put this all the way around the castle so the bridge is actually effective. This isn't the final draft. Obviously, people could just walk around and go in the door anyway. So, you know, and I'm going to show you guys later when we get a little bit more advanced and technical how to make it so that one switch works and then the other switch works and then they don't work while the other one's flicked. So someone can't just follow you. If you switch this off, uh, that way they can't switch it back on on the other side and just follow you again. It, it's, it's just safer that way. But for the moment, I think it's just easier to explain the basics and... and get everybody who's who's not up to speed caught up and then we'll take it from there anyway that's uh that's basically inverters for you guys uh if there's any questions please just ask there's there's really no no problem with asking me questions i'll do my best to answer everybody and um yeah so quick update just finished expanding the, the library as as i said it would 
So I put the walls further back and I, I set everything up. There's lighting obviously now. I've I lowered the roof just so I can fit uh, fit the lighting on. And yeah, this is what it looks like now. There's the seat and everything and so if you're wondering how I remember where the secret lever is, this is the way I'm gonna do it in this particular room. I walk to the edge of the chair, turn to my right, and there it is. So flip the switch. And here I am in my secret room. Flip the switch. Door locks behind me. And if someone else flicks the switch, they can't open it, but the best way to just make sure that nobody does is to have maybe a chest or something with some bookcases or whatever just randomly lying around stored somewhere so that you can just fill the gap in, run in, and flick it. And just to show you quickly that uh, that nobody can can get in, I'm going to close it. Uh, so just imagine that let's flick the switch open, you go inside and you flick the switch closed. But I'm going to quickly run around. I'm just going to break into my own building. Um, I'm going to close it from the inside. I'm just going to run back quickly. And door does not open. It'll only open if the switch here is down. Uh, which I probably shouldn't have put the bookcase in, but yeah. So if this switch allows it, the door opens. And I forgot where the switch is. Okay, there we go. So, just make sure that switch is closed, the bookcase will remain closed, and nobody will be the wiser. Alright, that's it. Just thought I'd give you guys a quick update at the end of the video. Take care.